Here we have a Mercer Clearline 2 air gauge that has been reconditioned by engineering and gauge. I'm about to show you how to set it up. We simply connect the air supply and switch on. We look into the top to the top gauge to see that the needle comes up between the two red marks, which indicates that the internal regulated pressure is correct. We fit the air plug into the female bayonet and slide on the minimum setting ring, which is minus 20. We then slide on the maximum plus 20 setting ring and we can see that the magnification is too great. So with the knob on the left, which is the magnification control, we turn it anti-clockwise, double the error, and correct the error with the zero control on the right to 20. We then slide on the minus 20 to see we have minus 21 microns. So we correct that slightly by turning this anti-clockwise and correct with the zero to minus 20. We then go back and check plus 20 and we have plus 19. So we've gone too far and the range is low. So we screw the magnification clockwise slightly and correct it again with the zero to plus 20. Then we check the minus 20 and it is minus 20. The unit is now ready to start gauging the component. We set the green and red tolerance markers to plus or minus five, which happens to be the component tolerance. You are now ready to start gauging your component.